you are in a spaceship that is about to be destroyed. And the only way out is via an old escape pod. Once in the escape pod, you hurtle through space at the mercy of the cosmos. With no knowledge of the pod's complex systems, your life depends on a technical manual and your own width. This is Tin Can, a game that got released the 12th of May, which is playable right now in VR. The VR version is still in beta, will be fully released this summer, but already plays so well and at the same time is so immersive that you just have to try it, especially in room scale. You can make your living room a true escape pod. So these kinds of games, especially this one, is why I love VR and I can't believe that once played in VR, there are people out there that actually like to play this on flat screen again. But hey, what is the game about? Well, you are trapped, like I said, inside an escape pod and your job is to survive for as long as possible. There are numerous systems which all have their own unique function and serve to ensure your survival. Every system is interconnected from the oxygen generator to the emergency lights. But there is so much more. The heating system, the main computer, the repair system, the CO2 to O2 converter, the gravity station and the power shield radiation supply or something. It's just a lot. But not just systems. All systems together have more than over a dozen different components. All having their own specific function and causing different problems when damaged. Cause damaged you will get in space. There will be times when it is quiet, there will be times you encounter a asteroid shower or flying near the surface of a star will cause overheating or damage your hull and you need to anticipate and deal with the situations as they come to avoid certain death. But don't worry, there is a manual in the game that can help you with figuring out what is wrong and how to read the error codes and how to fix them. But you can also play in party mode so that the one in VR does not have the manual but someone else outside the game in real life or discord will have to communicate communicate on what you need to do. If you are like, hey, this sounds cool, you can try out the game for free and download the demo for flat screen. After I had done that, I asked myself how cool would it be to play this in VR. And well, there it was. I will make a separate video of me trying to survive for as long as possible, so subscribe if you are willing to check it out. I just wanted to point out this game to you and I hope to see you all in the next video. Ciao ciao. Medusa escape pod, this is rescue unit 42, we're on our way, hang in there.